Hello? I've heard you speak of the inner knowing and how you, in your life, follow that completely. How can I, how can I find it and be able to listen to it and follow when my mind is so noisy? Yeah. Okay, so there's a few things here. One is you have a noisy mind and it is hard to find the inner knowing when you have a noisy mind. And that's why meditation is so lovely. It allows the mind to quieten. It allows you to get in touch with subtler energies and subtler knowings. The mind itself is like a, a thousand watt radio station pumping out amplified music, amplified noise in fact. And the inner knowing is so quiet, so gentle so non-invasive and to hear it one has to really listen become quiet and tune in to that ever so subtle inner knowing which knows which way to go but it'll never use logic to convince you it just knows Meditation is the answer. The second part is, if you trust the mind continuously, it takes you where it's programmed to take you, doesn't examine itself. But if you throw a little doubt in and start examining the minds, understandings, the mind's logic, you can start to see that there's a lot of faults in it and that it's not worth listening to as much as you thought and that this inner knowing which is much quieter, much softer, much more gentle, has a great deal more wisdom than the logical mind. So you meditate, you quieten the mind, you see that the mind is not always correct, so you start doubting it and start looking at it, examining it like a scientist would. And then you start listening for this inner knowing, this subtle, it's not even a voice, it's just a knowing. It knows which way to go. It feels right or it doesn't feel right. It'll give you no resistance. It won't put up a fight. So you can tell the difference between the inner knowing and the, the ego mind. Because the ego mind will try and convince you. It will use language and words. It will resist. Whereas the inner knowing doesn't do any of this. It just knows which way to gently go. And you follow that inner knowing. You trust that inner knowing. And it's like you've developed inner ears for listening inside. And so to hear really well, you start becoming very quiet, very still yourself, so you can listen inside. Like you would if you were in a house and you thought there was a burglar in the house. You'd become very quiet and just listen to see if you could hear any movement or anything in the house. Well, you listen inside yourself the same way to this inner knowing and you follow it. Does that help?
Thank you for sitting.